Hey guys, this is Rune and Faye. Welcome back to our channel. Today we didn't go skating, so we're gonna talk about what's in our skating bags. Because everybody likes to know what's inside other people's skating bags, right? Mm -hmm. I do. I know mm -hmm. I do. I always watch those videos. Mm -hmm. I know it's only November, but holidays came early to us this year because the Nordic's company actually gifted us with these awesome bags. First gift ever that we received this year and first gift as uh, video makers. So this is really exciting. Thank you. We're gonna link them down below in case you wanna get one for yourself. We figured we're gonna use this opportunity to do a what's in my bag kind of video and also add a little twist to it because we figured we'd probably personally use these bags mostly to travel with our skates because they're kind of small, they're not bulky, and they're gonna fit as a personal item on the airplane. So we figured it's a really good solution for travel. So this is my bag, it's dark gray, which matches pretty much all of my outfits and matches my skates. I picked this light one just because it matches all my stuff. My skates are white, so it works really well. So we're gonna try and pack what's already in our everyday skating bags inside these backpacks. We have not tried it before, so we're gonna See if it all fits. Let's hope it's not awkward. The reason why we like these bags a lot is because they have a ton of added features which we thought was really cool when we were looking through them before. For example, my personal favorite is this thing because I like to lose my keys all the time. Check this. Safely attached and inside the pocket. I love that. Gloves is something that probably all figure skaters have or most of us. It tends to get fairly cold at the ice rings, so they help keeping our hands warm. And they also help protect our hands in case we fall and somebody else decides to run us over with blades. You don't want cuts on your fingers, so this is really helpful. So the next thing we like to add is a uh, spare socks. Yeah, because sometimes for some reason... You forget to bring yours. For figure skating, normally you want to wear long socks, so they protect you from having blisters. One item that I carry as a female figure skater that Bruno doesn't is leg warmers. That was a very dramatic <laughs> motion. <laughs> I put them over my leggings and over my skates because one, they help me keep my legs nice and warm, but they also cover the tops of my skates to prevent the laces from untying easily and also for kind of covering my skates so they don't get scuffs and scratches on them as much. I'm just gonna pack it in the main compartment. So the cool thing about this bag that we just discovered is that they actually come with a charger, with a charging cable. There's a cable sticking out that you connect your power bank, which we have one. You connect your power bank in one of the sides, then you plug it in to your phone. I find this really cool for traveling specifically because that way we don't need to constantly look for plugs to charge our phones. You can just pull it out. You don't even need to dig out the power bank from the bag because it's easily accessible. Another item that absolutely every figure skater has in their bags would be the towel. We both have one. We use it to wipe down our blades after we're done skating because not only there is snow and ice that's stuck to our blades, but also when you bring them to a warmer place, which in Florida is pretty much everywhere that is not the ice ring, there is condensate that settles in there, making the blades very wet. We wanna make sure we wipe them down thoroughly to prevent rusting. I'm gonna pack mine in the outside pocket here. Same. The next thing is gonna be the blade guards. Blade guards are used to protect your blades. So you put them on, like on top of the blade, so you can walk outside without damaging the blades. Yeah. So I'm gonna like pretty much pack them in the front, in the front now, in the main compartment. <laughs> I have a pair also, so I'm just gonna stick it in the main compartment as yeah. well. Luckily there's plenty of space. We usually just keep it with skates. So due to the new circumstances, masks are something that we always carry now. Sometimes you forget to bring the mask, so it's always good to have a spare mask and they have the perfect pocket here. Yeah, right luckily there are like 10,000 pockets inside, mm. so you can easily find one. So just put the mask here, keep it there. 
case you forget yeah. one or it breaks. Mine break all the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> the next thing that I use a lot is the wallet. So there's some pockets on the inside also for the wallet that we can can put it in. <laughs> yes, in here. So I'm the wallet guy. So I put the wallet here. She's not the wallet girl. <laughs> don't show everybody where you put the wallet. <laughs> You guys didn't see that. There's so many pockets, you guys don't know which one it is. Put it in a different one each time. <laughs> one thing that you want to have in your bag as a figure skater, especially if you're traveling for competition or some kind of skating event, is an extra pair of laces. Things happen, laces snap, especially if you're skating as a pair or a dancer. We kick each other in the feet all the time and sometimes you can even cut the, the shoelaces that way. But even if you're skating solo, there are different situations happening. Shoelaces can snap, so it always helps to have an extra pair. She's way ahead of me. I don't have spare laces, but she does. <laughs> He's living on the edge, mostly on the inside one. So the next thing are my ear pods, which I use while I skate, especially during the warm up, so I don't get bored. <laughs> oh me. <laughs> I also have a bunch of hair stuff. In my bag, I always have extra elastics because they tend to break a lot. So I like to have like a whole set so I don't have to think about it. I have hair bands to keep the hair out of my face if I need to. And I have this half a hairbrush that takes way less space than a full hairbrush. So it's a life hack for you guys. It fits way better. The next item is not typical for figure skaters, but because we make videos, microphone is something that we always carry with us. So it doesn't get too much background noise because I'm the tech guy in the family. Yeah, so I carry the microphone. She carries all her girly stuff. <laughs> Another item that's not very typical for figure skating, but a lot of figure skaters do carry it. We mostly do because of our video making, but also a lot of skaters carry them because they take off ice classes online is the laptop. We have it with us most of the time, but especially when traveling, it allows us to edit our videos on the go and it also allows us to take our office classes online wherever we have a spot. I'm just gonna put it here, luckily the bag, which is also something I like, has a pocket, like Two a pockets, actually. laptop pocket that is right here in the front so that my laptop can be nice and separate from my skates from the wet sharp blades. Yeah, laptops don't like those very much. So this is actually really convenient. And the next thing I'm gonna put right next to it because there's another, I don't know if you guys can see, there's another little pocket right in front of it. I'm gonna put my notepad in it. A notebook is something that is really useful. And again, most of figure skaters have that. We use it to write down the exercises that we do so we don't forget for our next practice what we're supposed to be working on. We also write down the corrections that we receive from the coach so we don't forget. And sometimes we even write out the entire plan for what we are planning to practice. So we make sure we fit everything in the time that we have to practice our things. I'm gonna put it right here in the pocket. Close a little latch, nice and secure. Another item that is very common among figure skaters is the jump rope. We have one between us we share, so I'm the official jump rope carrier. I have space for it usually in my bag. We use this to warm up before going on the ice. It's great cardio, it's a quick warm up, and it also builds our stamina, builds our endurance, and builds the heights of our jump. So if you don't have one and you're a figure skater, you should definitely have one. Main compartment. It looks like I'm putting everything in main compartment, but actually if you see there are legit like 10,000 pockets in there, so my OCD is happy. I can uh, separate stuff into their own little niches. We just discovered this really cool thing. So if you turn it over, there is apparently like a, well, first of all, there are extra pockets here in case there were not enough pockets before. There is some more. And the other thing that I personally find super useful is this little, thing that comes out <laughs> oh. which we use to put our water bottles <laughs> so we can put our water bottle in there my water bottle has a rubber 
thing outside of it, so it's really hard to stick it anywhere at all. And then you just latch it on like this. And voila, you have the water bottle on the outside of the bag, so it doesn't take any space on the inside. Very fancy. So we save the best for last. The next item is, drum roll. Figure skates. Figure skates. Every figure skater has to have figure skates, right? Ta-da! The main thing. So you guys gonna see, they have fluffy things on them. If you're not a figure skater, quick clarification. These are called soakers, and we put them on top of our blades after we finish skating for storing, because even though we wipe the skates down with a towel, the condensate still stays on the blades a lot and can cause them to rust. So these guys have little bit, little like a towel material on the inside. So you put them on and they soak up whatever moisture could have been left on top of the blade. We're prepared. For everything. Ready to go? Really cool. Bonus thing that I forgot to say that I just literally just saw as I picked up everything else from the pile that I had here <laughs> is the extra screws that live inside my bag. Those come with the skates. So let me actually show something real quick. When you purchase skates, normally the blade and the boot come separately. You purchase them as two separate items. Sometimes, mostly in beginner skates, they do come together. For example, ours already came with a blade because it's a beginner friendly skate. But what happens is when the company mounts the blade for you, they normally mount them on only these two screws here. They're called balance screws because it allows you to move the blade side to side to adjust it to whatever it needs to be. So if you're buying your first skates and they do come with blades, make sure before you go skating on them, Go see a skate tech so you can adjust them and then mount the rest of the screws. Then what happens if you look, I don't know if you can see, but there are some empty holes on my skates because skate techs would normally only mount the blade on a few screws, leaving some of them open in case later on you decide to change your blades that you still have some undrilled space on the soles of your boots to mount the new blades onto without having to screw into already existing holes making them looser and looser. Here we go now. I've been ready for... <laughs> to go. Story of our lives. So this was it for today's video guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. And informational. If you're already a skater you probably have most or all of these items. We're gonna link all of ours down below in the description in case you wanna check them out. And if you're not a skater, hopefully you learned something new today. That being said, see you next week.